all of this fits into this. That whole hillside fell. The roads closed. Yeah, that road's turned into a river. All right, the road is turned into a river. Uh, it's closed off, so I'm gonna try to find an alternate route back and see how it goes. I don't wanna get stuck in that. Let's get out of this. Amazon can make it, I can make it. Hi, Janice from Theory of Simple. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, my channel is all about home, car, plane, or train. I'll have you prepared for just about anything. And today's video is being prepared in your car. Well, this is exactly what I was doing a few weeks ago, was trying to drive up to my favorite hiking place when the park was actually closed due to mudslides and landslides. So I was on my way back home and unfortunately there was an actual landslide slash mudslide and I couldn't get home that way. So I went another route and it was closed as well. So I don't want to get stuck in that. Let's get out of this. I ended up having to go several miles out of my way to go ahead and get myself home. But some people didn't get home and those that did get home found out that they had a home that was damaged due to a mudslide and they weren't able to be in their home any longer. So I thought this might be a good time to make a video on what are some of the things you should have in your car just to be prepared in case there's an emergency and you're not home or can't get home. I'm gonna start off in the front of my car because that's where you are most of the time and some of the convenient things that I have that make me feel a little more comfortable and safe. Number one thing is this tissue holder. It's over the passenger side visor, so I can grab a tissue quickly and easily without having to wrestle and find something floating around the car. This is my phone holder and it attaches to my rear view mirror. It also has an adjustable um, holder here so that I can pull this back and forth. It's magnetic to hold my iPhone, perfect for navigating or filming on the road. This additional sun visor is great. It has a little zipper here that just pulls it down and allows me to have a little bit of blockage of the sun and then easily pull it back up. This works really well when you're driving right into the sun. It also has a great thing here where I can pull this out to help block out any additional sun maybe coming in here between my mirror and my visor. I don't keep a lot in my glove box because I don't like reaching that far over to get to anything unless I'm parked. So mostly anything I would need will be in my console, but let's see what I have in my glove box. In my glove box, I have some restraint things if I need to um, restrain something down in the back of my Jeep. And I also have this fire extinguisher thing. So if there's a fire here in my car or someone else's, I have something to help out. I also keep a physical map in my car just in case my GPS isn't working and go old school. I love using these little hooks on my passenger seat. It helps hold my bag. So if I have to hit the brakes, this isn't going to go flying and sending things all over the front of my car. It keeps it nice and safe and handy for me. This little gadget is nice because it holds my purse right here in the middle so that it's also not flailing around if I'm driving and it just keeps it right here in the middle close to me. So as you can see on my keychain, I have a pepper gel spray that also has a seatbelt cutter here as well as a way to break a window right here. So I always have that on me. On the passenger side, I have this power for 12 volt that allows me to charge a phone. Um, it has two USB-A ports. It also has a seatbelt cutter and also this tip can be used as a glass breaker. So the passenger side also has something. On the driver's side, I also have a pepper spray gel. Now you might be wondering if I have a pepper spray on my keychain, why would I keep one in the handle of my door? Well, if this is in the ignition, I don't wanna be fiddling with it, right? It's something that I don't wanna be fiddling around to get to it if I need it. This way, if someone approaches my car and I start to feel unsafe, I can grab this right away and have it at hand. Also, my boyfriend drives my car. He doesn't carry a pepper spray. If he needed it, it's right here available. So just a little extra protection in case I need it. My console just has things like my fast track. It has a pen. I have a measuring tape and a power cord here. This little three pronged charging cord that I have allows me to charge things that are lightning, USB-C and micro USB right here in my car. 
Here's a little money saver hack. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on those ties that hold your cables together, just buy those garden ties. You can buy a whole roll of this for like two bucks and just cut it to size to tie up all your cables together. I have a few things in here that are also handy. So this is an electric hand warmer. This thing is great because it actually is two separate pieces that you can keep things in your hands warm, keep your hands warm with it, but it's also chargers. So I have two separate chargers here. If I want to charge my phone or someone else needs to charge, but I've actually used these car camping, which has been nice because if I put slippers on and I put these in the bottom toward my toes, it keeps my toes really toasty. These get really, really warm. So really nice to have. If you want to put them together then like this, they magnetically attach and you can put them like in your armpit or in your shirt just to help keep you a little warmer um, especially if you're car camping but if you're stuck in your car and you need some warmth this will help keep you warm and again they're batteries as well so dual purpose I carry them in my car I also carry this 300 watt inverter that I can plug into the cigarette lighter in my car if I need to power a laptop or something that needs some sort of ACDC plug. It also has USB-A ports here so that I can use things like my iPad and things like that, charge it up. Just good to have if you need to use your battery in your car to charge a few things up. I also just still keep a thing of quarters. I know that a lot of these um, parking meters don't take quarters anymore, but a few do. But just having some quarters around, I think this is like $10 worth of quarters, just something to have around to be able to use them if I need them. I also carry this USB rechargeable headlamp because you can never go wrong with a headlamp. I also carry this solar powered USB rechargeable light. It acts as a light um, in the sense that I can just turn it on and it'll turn into this wonderful light here but it'll also act as a SOS beacon if I need it to so that way it's also an emergency light and it's just something that if I want to I put a little carabiner on the back of my um, you know my rear view mirror so if I want to hang it in the car I can do that or hang it inside my engine if I had to look at something this will do that so just a nice little extra light to have if you're going to be you know, in your car and you want a little bit more light than a flashlight. So here's a little bag of goodies that was in my center console. It has a pair of scissors. I know, I always have scissors. I have a thing with scissors. I don't know what it is. Super glue. A little torch lighter. Another one of those garden ties that you would use to tie up your garden. It ties up cables. It's multi-purpose. Um, a permanent marker here with some duct tape wrapped around it. Another one of those air sickness bags. Don't ask me. I know I carry these things around a lot. I just do. You never know when you're going to get car sick or have to clean up dog poop or something. Anything else in here? Oh, money. I carry about $100 worth of cash in here just in case I need it. Like, you know, you go to the gas station, the pump's broken. At least I can get some gas. So true story, in our neighborhood, unfortunately, someone saw this on the visor and decided to smash in the car window, open up the garage door, get into the person's house. They actually got their car keys and stole all three of their cars. So I keep this hidden out of sight in my console. If I need it to open my garage door, I will, but I don't have it hanging on my visor because I park outside and that way, you know, if they see this, they know that there's probably a garage door nearby that they can open. So, oh, a mosquito. <laughs> I keep this in my center console. The other thing I keep in my driver's side pocket on the door here is this waterproof phone pouch. And that's because if I need to get out of my car quickly because it's like floodwaters or something, I can slip my phone in here. It's protected, it's usable, and I can get out of the car. I don't want to be fishing around anywhere else trying to get to it. It's right there because that's going to be my lifeline is my phone. I also have another USB and solar charge flashlight that I keep on hand in my door pocket. It has a um, little glass breaker here and a seat belt cutter right here. It's also pretty hefty. So if I needed to use this as a weapon quickly, I could use this to knock something or knock on somebody or something. So just a little extra protection to have with me, dual purpose, multi-purpose tool. Every time I travel, I always bring a large thermos of water. Warm water or hot water in the winter, 
ice water in the summer. So if I'm stuck somewhere like traffic or something and I can't get to water, I always have it with me. Even if I'm just going to a store, I always bring a thermos of water. I carry a hiking stick with me all the time. And this one is special because it's also a multi-tool. You know me and multi-tools, this can't have enough. This, this walking stick isn't something for someone who's a really long hiker, but for someone who just does a couple hour hikes, this works great. It's all metal, just like you see here, which is an aluminum and it just screws together, but it comes with some really great different attachments. So for example, in the cap here, it has some different things like screwdrivers and ferro rods if you need them um, that fit into the cap and then they just go right into the end here so that I can use them. Um, it came with its own string, but I actually crocheted a longer one so I could have more um, 110 pound rope with me. So I just crocheted my own. And then again, a little end here. So if you need to put any of the tools in here and then each one of these little pipes that you screw together can hold other things that it that comes with it. So there's several of these pipes that come that make it as long as you want. There's an end piece right here that um, is fairly sharp. I don't know if you can see that, that if you needed to use this to poke or prod at an animal or something, or even a human to say, stay away, you could use this. And it also comes with things like, um, well, it has these little caps, different things for different terrain, depending on when, where you're hiking. But it comes with a knife that also has a bottle opener and other little cutting implements on it and a little spoon that also has little bottle openers and it also has a fork which I think I might not have yeah here it is a tiny little fork as well each of these also has like a little area here to be able to um, open you know tighten or loosen up bolts and things like that and to use these you simply just screw them in to the end just like this and then they become something that you have, you know, a long fork or spoon or knife. And then you can, again, if you needed to use this for self-defense or something, put it on the end and make it a longer pole to keep something at distance from you. So this is something I'm now hiking with. It also comes with this bag that has multiple little chambers inside to hold everything and keep it organized. So it keeps it nice and close and handy in the back of my car. For those of you who have not seen my car camping Jeep conversion video, I'll put a link up here to show you how I converted my Jeep into a car camper. But for now, I actually took it all apart because I had people visiting and I needed to use my Jeep as a car. But I have a few things in here still that I keep in here even though I'm not car camping. I always keep a pair of sneakers in my car, just in case. Most of the time I'm in flip-flops in the summer, so I want those in case I wanna go hiking. And I also keep my down blanket in here. I also keep a little camping beach towel and a hiking hat. I also carry a female urination device because sometimes you just can't get to a bathroom, but you gotta go. I keep this little compact USB rechargeable fan in my car. It's really nice to have when you're car camping, but I keep it in there just in case. Like I said, if you're ever stopped and you wanna turn your car off, you'll be able to have a little bit of a breeze. As you can see, you can use it as a stand just like this. And also, if you take this and open it up, you can hang it if you need to. And these are just my grocery bags. I have a couple of insulated grocery bags to grocery shop. All right, so here's the back of my car and most everything that I want is in this crate, but there are a couple things down in this little tire wheel well area. Now you might be wondering why I don't use one of those car organizers in my car, and that's because it's a lot easier for me just to pop this crate out throw it in the front seat or something so that I can get the seats down quickly rather than trying to unlash everything from the back seat and figuring out where I'm gonna put it. So this is just more convenient for me. All right, the first thing I keep is this. This actually comes out to be a cot that fits in the back of my Jeep and it keeps it about six inches up. So it's a little bit of a fabric that's keeping me up off of the bottom of the actual Jeep. So it's gonna be a little more comfortable. If I needed it, I have this. I keep an insulated sleeping mat to put either on the cot or on the floor of my car to sleep in. This is silver. It's going to reflect my body heat back to me. Also, this bright color is great if I had to flag down any sort of help. This will help me flag and get someone's attention. So this just stays in my car. That way, if I'm car camping, I can also use this as well. 
I also keep a picnic blanket and this one is plastic on this side. So if I lay it down, it's not going to have moisture coming through, but also if I needed to sleep in my car, it's going to keep me a little bit warm because it's like a felt flannel on this side. So that'll help keep my body heat to me, keep it all, all my body heat right up next to me with all of this material. Need a jump? this is it this little small footprint will jump my car or anyone else's car just to get you a jump start it's small it's portable it has um a couple of jumper cables right in here so as you can see it has something to connect to the jumper battery and something to connect to your battery or someone else's to get you a jump and again it's really small footprint this little battery pack is USB rechargeable, so I can charge this back up at home, keep it charged up. When I use it, I can charge up someone else's car or my car, but it also has a flashlight and a couple of USB ports. So that way, if I want to power up phones or laptops or anything like that, I have an extra battery here in my car. I love this little thing. In the winter, I wear a jacket all the time, but I don't always have a jacket on me, especially in the warmer months. So I keep some sort of rainproof jacket or waterproof jacket in my car in case I need it. I also keep a can of Fix-A-Flat. You know, like I said, even though I have AAA and I can call them, if I don't have cell service or something and I can't get a hold of someone, I have something like this. Or if I need to help someone else out, I have it. I always keep a few bungees and tie downs in case I'm carrying something from a big box store. I want to tie down, you know, the, the trunk of my car um, and secure something. So I always have that. I carry two types of gloves in my car. I have a pair of thin ones like this. So if I have to touch something a little wetty and icky, these will work well. But I also have these old leather ones. So if I have to touch something hot or that's rough, these will work well or in combination together just to protect my hands. I also keep some of these plastic liners. So if I'm going to a nursery or something and something could be leaking, this will help protect the back of my car. I also carry these mosquito nets because if I'm out where I'm picnicking or something and it's hot out and I wanna keep the windows down and there's bugs, this will keep them out. I also carry this, which is this little handsaw, but it's also got this great attachment here that if I needed to extend it to reach up higher, I can extend this long so that way I can attach this to the end here just like this and have a nice long reaching saw if I needed to cut down a high branch which I've had to do camping when a branch was too low this allowed me to reach up and cut that branch down this is probably my favorite thing that I have in here and as you can see it's like a little satchel but it has a lot of great tools this is how it opens up the first thing it has is this great shovel. So this great shovel here is actually pretty sharp on the ends here. It has a serrated edge here. A couple of different places here if you needed to use it for getting off some sort of a hex net. It's made out of steel. Solid, solid, solid. And it has handle attachments that allow you to extend it. So these handle attachments allow you to make it longer as you need it. Um, to dig and like again very solid for this it has a lot of other tools with this in the kit let me go through this with you of course now someone has to come here and start howling like a wolf I, I don't know actually I think that's coyotes and they got something this set comes with a handy axe here nice and sharp heavy and also has um, this hammer option on this side and a sheath and its own handle. There's also handle extensions here where you can make everything longer. It also comes with this interesting knife here that's serrated on one side and also has a, a plain blade on the other and a spear. I don't know if I'd ever use those, but you know, it's nice to have, I guess. A compass. It also has here um, a fire starter, a ferro rod on there. And then again, covers for the shovel because these are actually pretty sharp and all these extra handles. A great thing to have in your car kit. And all of that fits in this nice handy carrying case. For those of you who have seen my EDC series and some of the videos of what I carry every day, you know what I carry. For those of you who don't want to, I'll put a link up here so you can watch those videos. But here's what I have in that backpack that I keep in the back of my car. So in all honesty, I think there'll be very few times where you're going to have to hike it away from your car. I mean, there might be something where there's some sort of flood and 
you know, you've gotten in and you can safely get out of your car and get away just to get away from the floodwaters, something like that. And you're close enough to maybe hike it home or hike it to safety. And then you might want to have a backpack. In those cases, you want your backpack ready and packed to go quickly. All of this fits into this. I have a fairly expensive waterproof backpack, but you do not have to use that. Start with whatever backpack you have. If you want something waterproof, you can get something like this, which is like $39 on Amazon. I'll link it below. But this is a great little backpack to start off with, but use whatever you have just to get something started in your car. I like to carry an aluminum water bottle that's not insulated because that way, if I can put water in it and I have to heat it up, it's something that I don't have to worry about burning all the insulation out of. This one comes with its own filter. And as you can see here, it has its own condom. No, it has, sorry. It has a pair of knee-high pantyhose on top because it's gonna help filter some of the extra gunk out of water that may not be really clean and keep this filter a little cleaner. This filter will filter out about 99% of bacteria and parasites but just having that little extra piece of pantyhose on there will allow me to filter the water out a little bit easier. I also carry a Sawyer water bottle straw just in case, you know, that fails or always have a backup for water. I also like to carry around a foldable bucket so that I can get large amounts of water if I need it. This little solid fuel heater is great to have. It'll allow me to heat water so I can put it into my containers or my food so I can eat. So this is something great to have and portable. I also keep some dehydrated food I can reconstitute with hot water just in case I need it. I also keep a solar panel in my car so if I need to charge with sunlight, I have something. And I use these carabiners so I can hook it to my backpack so if I needed to be on the go, I could still charge with my backpack on. I like to carry two different sizes of ropes for different things. So something a little more substantial, and this comes with a large carabiner, and then some smaller rope just to tie up things like maybe even a hammock. Although I have that larger kit that has the shovel and the ax in it, this little one is great for backpacking. It's something that'll allow me to have a shovel and a little pickaxe, and it folds down nice and easy. So that way I can go ahead and get this put away into my backpack. And that will fold up as small as this. This little pocket saw is something that's great to have. If I have to cut through larger limbs or tree trunks, this will help me do it. I keep a small first aid kit in my car. This has a cold pack for contusions, as well as some different, like an eye patch, things if someone has a bad cut on their finger, emergency. Also a little silicone eye cap cup here so that if you needed to wash out your eye, as well as some saline solution to rinse. And then a few things like amalgamated tape. I don't know why I cannot remember the name of that tape. Self amalgamating tape. It's not that hard. Not that hard. This will stick to itself and can um, really be something to seal off a leak in your car engine if you have something or even for a wound. And then just some moleskin and things like that. I have a little inflatable sleeping pad just in case I need to lay down somewhere. This will help keep me a little more comfortable. This little pump will pump that pad up at about 30 seconds. I also keep some insect repellent and some afterbite in case I get bitten. I always carry a little lighter like this on my keychain and some pyro putty because this will start even in the rain. I also have this huge rain poncho that I can put over a backpack or something. This is to keep me really dry. It's huge. It's made for backpacking, but you never know when you're going to need that extra coverage. The other thing I like to keep is a dry bag with some clothes in it. Because sometimes I just want to go take a hike, but if something happens and I can't get back to my house to get my go bag, I want to be able to have some clothes to change into. And I like to bring things like hiking pants, especially ones that can zip off and become a pair of shorts because I don't know what time of year it could be that I need to have this. So if it's warm, I can wear shorts and if it's cooler, I can wear pants. I just bring a black tank top and then I also just bring a little hoodie so that I have something in case it gets a little chilly. So just a small little thing of clothing is part of my go bag for my car. All of that will fit nicely into the top of my backpack. And this backpack fits nicely right into my crate. I also keep these insulated window covers in my car. I made these from something really cheap. If you want to see the video on that, I'll put the link up above. 
I don't have much in this little well because the way the lid is, it doesn't allow me to keep a lot, but I have some water and glass bottles so that way it's not sitting in plastic. These horrible bread things, but if I needed some sort of fiber food, and I have this little thing, it's like a little pellet shooter that shoots these little round pellets. Something my boyfriend and I thought up to keep in there. Now, I've only used this thing for target practice. I've never used it for anything else, but basically what you do is you have these little pellets like this <laughs> that fit into here and you basically just drop it in and then the pellet will sit down in here and you can shoot it. It shoots pretty far. Um, I don't know if you could kill game with it, but this is kind of fun and it comes with two different, um, these are two different sizes, uh, I guess, pellet shooter rubber gaskets that fit in here. And I just keep this all in here like this and it just simply, screws together like that and you can put it in your backpack but like I said I've only used it for like practicing target practice but just a little something extra to have and that is it that's everything that I keep in my car just in case there's an emergency again that's if I can't get home to get my go bag at home I have something in my car so if I'm out and about I have something that'll help me feel safe and comfortable wherever I happen to be all right, future me here. What I want to know is, what are some of the things that you carry in your car that help you feel like you're going to be comfortable and safe in a situation that might be out of the normal? Put those in the comments below because all of us in this community would like to know. Now, this is not a comprehensive list of everything that everybody should carry. It's just what I carry. Living here in Northern California, I don't have any snow, so no chains, no ice scrapers or anything like that. Just a few things that make me feel safe and comfortable if I'm out and about in my car traveling. So just some things for you to digest and see what you can add to your emergency kit for your car. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button. Until the next time, juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple, stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.